Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. I'm in Luminar Neo again, and this is another quick tip. This one is all about the vignette tool. Uh, so I've got a photo here. I've done a few things to it to brighten it, all that kind of stuff. And what I often find myself doing is saying, hey, I want to choose my subject. I'll come over here and I say, all right, I kind of want it over here. Um, so do something like that, and then I'll adjust the amount. I always feather really high. You'll see me do that in a lot of videos. Then I'll pull the size down, you know, maybe the amount down, something like that, and then go to enter light. And it generally, you know, works out for me, but there's actually a better way to know more specifically about what your vignette's gonna basically include and not include. So let me hit reset. You can click choose subject. Again, I'm gonna come back over here, kind of on the back of the neck of this girl, and do that. And, you know, uh, you can close choose subject. Maybe you start adjusting these things, but here's the, the real tip. And that is, instead of just automatically going to 100 with your feathering, actually go to negative 100. And while you're at it, take your size and amount all the way down as well. And you get this really hard edge. And that gives you a really clear picture of what's going to be in your vignette and what's not. So now you can take choose subject and move it around a little bit because I had originally chosen the back of her neck, but I kind of think that's a little too much. I'm missing too much on the right hand side. So I might click here, click there, just kind of scoot it around a little bit and see what you think because that's uh, it's giving you basically a clearer picture, like I said. So instead of like right there, I feel like that's a little too far to the left. I'm going to come back this way and maybe even a little bit more. So something about like that where that's getting all those people inside the vignette, if you will, on the left-hand side, which I like, but it's also giving plenty of room on this right-hand side over here to look like this uh, this passenger is coming to you, which of course they are because this is on the, uh, the tube in uh, London and that's a moving sidewalk. But it just feels like it fits better that way. So then, now that I've done that and chosen subject, I'm going to come back. I'll put my feathering back to where I normally put it uh, and the amount and size and fix those accordingly. And then also use the inner light. And I feel like that just gives me a little bit better overall vignette control in my image because using that negative feathering at negative 100 with a negative uh, amount and negative size gives you that really hard edge, lets you see it clearly. And then you can go back and customize it, smooth out the edges with the feathering and all that. It's a great way to really get your vignette looking just right. Thanks, my friends. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.